The handsaw continues to make the cut. You'll find it at every building site, always at the ready. Power tools are higher tech, but the handsaw has a basic appeal. It doesn't need an extension cord and almost never breaks down. It's a trusty tool with the teeth for the job. Handsaws come in many sizes. To make them, a machine uncoils steel and draws it into a mechanised punch. The punch works at a blurring speed to cut teeth into the steel, 140 notches every minute. Here it is in slow motion. It makes two cuts for each saw tooth. A reel takes up the newly serrated steel and then feeds it back to cut teeth on the other side. Next, a finger-like device unrolls the steel and pushes it towards automated jaws. The jaws bend the teeth, alternating the direction of each one. Here's a look in slow motion. This is called setting the teeth. A die punch cuts the steel coil into pieces called double blanks. Double because two saw blades will be made from each one. The die also makes holes in one end of the double blank for attaching handles. The double blanks are fed into a shearing machine. A blade descends and cuts it in half along the diagonal, making two saw blades. The blades are pressed against the sanding belt to smooth out the edges. This is called deburring. Here, they're making a higher end saw blade. A piece of steel is flushed with coolant as a machine grinds it to make teeth. This method is more time consuming, but results in a superior tool. Again, the teeth are set. But this time, mechanical jaws do the job a blade at a time, rather than working on one long coil of steel. The teeth will need to be strengthened in order to perform. So rollers move the blades to an electrical coil. Within milliseconds, the temperature of the blade shoots up to almost 900 degrees Celsius. This tempers the steel. blades drop off the conveyor into a bin. Here's a look at the blade before heat treating. And this is after. The black burn line is a sign this saw can take the pressure. A conveyor wheel dunks them in a pool of clear protectant. This will keep them looking shiny. One is placed on a table. It rises and a squeegee silt screens the company's name onto it. At this point, the ink is still wet. 30 seconds in an infrared oven is enough time to bake on the brand name. Cardboard sleeves are slid over the blades. And now it's time to get a grip. Two plastic handle parts are fitted together and placed on a carousel. An ultrasonic sealer moves in. It emits a high frequency sound and the vibrations melt the two plastic pieces together, forming a handle. The handle is fitted onto a blade before a machine rivets it in place. Some saws have wooden handles. Because riveting could split the wood, they are bolted on with screws. And there you have it. Tools that are cut out for the job.
So, 